I don't know if you've noticed this, but you haven't been able to turn on a single PGA Tour broadcast without them talking about Bryson DeChambeau hitting bombs. Meow. So I purchased these guys right here. You may have seen them before in a lot of PGA Tour Pro's bags. These are the Swing Speed Training Sticks by Super Speed Golf. I'm gonna talk about my experience with these sticks and do a little review on this product. Let's do it right now. Thank you very much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenny. Some of you may know me as Kenny Cat. I am a competitive golfer, and this channel is dedicated to my journey on what it takes to become a better competitive golfer. Let's jump straight into it. I like to follow five basic criteria. Ease of use, feedback loop, the price, design and build quality, and can you make this product with existing tools that you already have? So let's talk a little bit about the Super Speed Golf Sticks. You basically have three sticks of varying weights. There's a heavier, a medium, and a light stick. And basically what you're doing is you're swinging these three sticks uh, at different intervals and at different reps as fast as you possibly can. And the goal is not necessarily to make you stronger, although I'm sure that is part of the process if you are doing a workout over time, but the goal is to train your brain and the neurons in your brain to actually fire your muscles quicker so that you can effectively swing your golf club faster. If you stress your body to go faster, then it all of a sudden decides, oh, we need to go faster, and it starts releasing your governor, so to speak, so that you can swing your club faster. Let's jump straight into price. The Super Speed Golf Sticks are $199, and that gets you all three sticks, but also they give you the workout plans and the workout routines that you're gonna use. You basically follow those along on the website, so everything all included is $199. I wanna talk about design and build quality. Now, these sticks are pretty much what you would expect to see from like a driver or a three wood shaft. They have all the same build and the same feeling and the same flex in them. These heavy weights on the tip of them are very secured. I've never once felt like this was gonna snap or break or be flying off down the range. I would say as far as build quality goes, these are a 10 out of 10. The grips look like they're manufactured by Lampkin. I can't confirm that, but they look exactly like my standard Lampkin grips. And I have no issue with the quality of these grips and with the um, construction of them. All in all, this is a very well built and well designed product. Ease of use. Now, there's a couple different ways to look at this. This is a workout training aid. That means that you are going to have to consistently use it in order for you to see results and also maintain those results. So with that being said, knowing that before you buy it, I'm not even going to open the discussion of, well, you have to use it every other day. And I think that's where the sticking point is for a lot of people because let's just call a spade a spade. Everybody in the golf world, just in life in general, wants quick fixes, but there are no shortcuts in life. If you want to swing a club faster, you're going to have to train and get stronger and just work at it. And over time, that's going to give you the speed you want. I would say it's a fairly easy system to use because Super Speed Golf has done all the heavy lifting for you. They give you the workout plan. They give you the training manuals. They give you the time you need to do it. They give you the duration. They give you videos on their website. All of this is included uh, for free when you purchase the speed sticks. Everything that you need to do the physical workouts is already planned for you and already put on their website. And then I'm gonna jump right into feedback. loop. So this is something that is training your body and the feedback loop is not inherently built into the clubs. You have to have some kind of radar or some kind of swing speed monitor in order for you to effectively have a feedback loop. I use the Swing Caddy SC200 Plus, which allows you to use swing speeds on it. So without that, you're essentially just swinging sticks and not really knowing if you're getting faster. So in that regards, I will say that that probably should be factored into the price, but they do have bulk deals on their website where you can buy a swing speed monitor for, I think like an extra 150 or so dollars. You can swing these sticks to your blue in the face, and unless you have a way to measure that, you're not realistically going to know if you're getting faster or increasing your speed. You have to have some other device that'll help you measure it. So I really think that that's more of a technicality of maybe that's just be included as the whole bundle. But neither here nor there. And then on to my final point, 
Can it be replicated with existing tools that you have or a cheaper way? Yes. To sum this up, there are many sticks on the market and I'm sure you can go on eBay or Amazon or whatever website you want to go and I'm sure you can find someone that has tried to replicate or someone that has effectively replicated this exact same set. It may not be the same weights, it may not be the same colors, it may not have all the same shaft flex and principles, but there are cheaper systems you can buy out there that have you know three different weighted clubs or two different weighted clubs. The science is pretty much the same. It's not like Super Speed Golf owns the science. And given the fact that Super Speed Golf gives you their workout programs for free, yes, you could buy uh, a cheaper off-brand swing speed stick and just use their same workout strategy to effectively get the same results. Okay, now that we talked about those points, let's just talk about does it work? Yes, this product definitely works at increasing swing speed. And the most interesting thing is, you will see the increase in your swing speed the first time you use it. So I'll give you a perfect example from my personal experience. I purchased a, a personal launch monitor from Swing Caddy, and before when I was doing a few videos about the driver, I was taking a few baseline numbers with my driver, and I saw very similar things. Around 106 miles an hour, uh, 150 miles an hour average of ball speed. I was getting somewhere around 265 to 270 of carry, depending on how I launched it and depending on you know how hot it was in Phoenix that day. The first time I used it, you do three swings on the right side with the green stick, which is the lightest of all the sticks, and the first time I used Use it I got up to 117 miles an hour max with the green stick then you grab the blue stick which is the medium level heaviness you swing three times on the right side three times on the left side and the maximum speed that I got with the blue stick was 115 miles an hour then you switch over to the red stick which is the heaviest of all the sticks and it feels like it's a lot heavier than like what a driver is and then with the red stick you do again the same thing uh, three on the right, three on the left, and the fastest I got to with the red stick was 113 miles an hour. Then what you do is you do a step through uh, swing, which is where you start with your legs together, and then you step forward with your primary side while swinging uh, the stick. And this is designed to teach you how to load properly and the mechanics of actually delivering speed effectively through the club. You do three on one side, three on the other, and with the green stick, I reached the top speed of 119 miles an hour. Then I did the step through swing with the blue stick, Right side and left side, I reached a total max speed of 112 miles an hour. And then I finished it off with the step through swing with the red stick and I reached a total max speed of 111 miles per hour. Then to finish off the swings, you do the green stick three times on your dominant side as fast as you possibly can. And on my first go around with the green sticks at the end of the training session, I swung 122 miles an hour at the max speed. And then I grabbed my driver and then I swung three times as fast as I possibly could with no ball there. And the top speed that I was able to reach was 116 miles an hour. So just to put that into perspective, my max speed as starting this exercise, never doing sweet and speed training, was 108 miles an hour. That's a full eight miles an hour faster at the very top end just after one 20 minute swing speed training uh, session. As the weeks progressed, and I'm just gonna shoot through this and show up, the, actually I can just throw up a chart up here. Now that I've done the entire phase one and I am on the final week of phase one, what I'm consistently seeing is the top speed, the very top end that I can swing my driver is around 117 miles an hour. So what has that translated to an actual driving distance? Because surely I'm not swinging this fast every time I'm on the course. Now I am comfortably swinging the club at 110 miles an hour and my ball speed is somewhere around 156 to 157-ish miles an hour. So I would say that I've added about six to seven miles an hour of ball speed in just the eight weeks that I've been using the swing speed sticks. And that has added roughly 18 to 20 yards of carry to my drive. All in all, I've had a lot of fun with this, especially during lockdown times where gyms aren't really open. It's just one extra thing that I can really do to make myself feel athletic and make myself feel like I'm you know, getting a good body workout. And one thing I will say is that after the first few workouts, like I was absolutely pooped. Like my legs were on fire, my, my abs were sore, my back was sore. Like it felt like a good muscle workout. I didn't think about how much it really takes to swing these sticks you know, full out. 
All in all, I love the Super Speed Sticks. I'm gonna keep using these, and this review is gonna be an update. I'm gonna give you a review at every single phase and see how far we can really get when we get to phase two and three and four and five and so forth. And hopefully that will give you a better idea of using my body as a personal case study. That's really all I got for you. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. As always, deuces people, let's keep it.